Okay, Simon, what are we doing today? Hi, Buck. How are you? I'm doing good. <laughs> <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to cast some aluminum-filled epoxy in between these two molds. There's an inner liner mold, and then there's an outer mold, which will provide a shell out of aluminum-filled epoxy that is 9 sixteenths of an inch thick, if everything goes according to plan. The shells are vacuum-formed polystyrene. Uh, the molds are, and they have been waxed with three coats of carnauba wax and five coats of polyvinyl alcohol barrier coat. So they should come apart when it's all done. So what we're going to mix is this nice stuff. It's worse than uh, anti-seize. If you get it on you, the whole shop will be gray in about four minutes. Um, and it gets catalyzed with this. A hundred parts of or 100 parts of resin to 11 parts of catalyst, which we will weigh out on a gram scale. After those get mixed into the bucket, using this stirrer, then we'll uh, take them over to the flubber machine. And this is where we'll pull a vacuum, 29 inches of vacuum on the thing, and it will de-air the material, pull all the bubbles out of it, and then we'll cast it into the mold. Probably take about four batches, maybe five. Okay. Sounds like fun. Is it, um, and how long does it take the stuff to cure? Uh, it's pretty much overnight, and then uh, once it's cured, um, we can post cure it up to, at 300 degrees for two hours, uh, which will make it very heat resistant, give it good temperature um, resistance. Okay. Don't know whether I'm going to do that because it's good for about 135 degrees without post curing, and I don't think that we'll get much over that when we're running it on the former. So it should be good. All righty. Sweet. Let's get to it. Yeah. Bye. Look, <laughs> Sheila's over here. <laughs> Say hi, Sheila. Hi. What are you doing, Sheila? I'm working on remora stuff, but I will be in charge of the flubber machine. Okay. Right on. Bye.
First we'll try to pry this centerpiece out, the inner mold. Oh yeah. That's great. So there's the inner mold out, and this ran the ran this little plastic scraper around the edge, and put some water in the inside it to melt the mold release. So we'll see we'll see if we can get this out. Should be good. So it was fairly heavy. was it is a sharp this this side um, because the, the epoxy got so hot it distorted the plastic and pushed this side out um, this side still looks good uh, but this has quite a bulge to it so we'll have to find out whether or not it's going to fit into the uh, duplicating mold so we can make the final mold over this, uh, which is the final shape of the body. Um, so, well, it kicked off. It looks good, uh, with the exception of a few problems. And we'll, we'll see what it turns out to be. More coming. As we're boys and you keep in the park.